What's up guys, Marcus here from Production Expert, and today we're gonna to be having a look at the Caribou Bundle, which is a bundle of plugins that are developed by Prime Studios in association with Acoustica Audio. So we've got three different plugins. We've got the Caribou Filter, which is a basic filter module taken from a very famous desk, and we've got different high cut and low cut options. So you see we have everything from uh, 45 hertz, 70 hertz, 160 hertz, and 360 hertz over here. And then on the top end of things, we can go anywhere from 8, 6, 4, or 2. And then we've got the harmonic section here, and we've got the preamp section. So we can bring the preamp into the emulation as well. And this is really what sets these plugins apart for me, is how good the harmonic sound and, and you know the different tonal qualities you can get by bringing the preamp in. So that's the filter. Then we've got the compressor, and the compressor here, again, based off a very famous desk, we have different ratios everywhere from 1.5 to 6 to 1. Makeup gain, we've got a threshold for both the compressor and the limiter. We've got our recovery times for the compressor and limiter. We can engage or disengage the compressor and the limiter sections here by these buttons over here. We've got a basic display here. We can monitor input, gain reduction, or output. We can dial in the harmonics over here, or what we can do if we're using this as a stereo instance and we wanna link the controls, we just activate this button, and then we can basically link these controls just like that. So it makes it easier to make adjustments on this plugin when you're using it in stereo mode. And then lastly, let's just bring this in over here for a second. We have the Caribou Mix, which is an equalizer. And we have three bands of EQ over here. And then we've got a low cut that we can engage. And anytime you want to engage any of these parameters, you just got to click this button in and you'll see that it'll activate. So we have from here, we have a low cut anywhere from uh, 360, 160, 70, and 45, or we can turn it off altogether. We've got some faders here to adjust our levels, and then we've got the harmonic section, and then we've got the pre-in and the pre-out. Okay, so enough talking. Let's have a listen to some of these plugins just to see what they can do over here. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is let's just use this track over here. This is just a basic loop I've brought in. A lot of the ways that I'll test plugins to see what they can do is I'll take something that's you know very basic sounding or very sterile and, and see how good I can make it sound. And if it passes that test, then in my opinion, you know it does a pretty good job. So here we have the filter plugin. And let's just have a listen to the program material without anything on it first. Just a basic bass loop. So those function just as we would expect. Then we have the harmonic section here. And this is really what sets this apart for me. So I can take the preamp out. Let's bring the harmonics all the way down. I'm gonna start to dial these up. I can bring the preamp in. I'm not sure if you hear that high frequency that just popped in there. I'll bring up a spectrum analyzer just to show that. So we have over here, keep your eye on this section. Right over here, you can back off a bit. So nice filter, a lot of times what I'll do with filters is I'll use it just to kind of pinch something and then this is great because I can add my saturation or my harmonic, my harmonic distortion, I can add that all in one plugin. So that's the filter plugin. Next up, let's have a look at using the compressor. So I've got a track here provided to me courtesy of Paul Drew. And the first thing I wanna have a look at here, let's have a look at the vocal. And let's activate the inserts. We'll bring this up. So let's bypass both of these here for a second and start off with, I use the filter just to roll off some lows and then let's dial in some harmonic distortion here and, and adjust this preset and see if we can get something to sound good. Maybe we'll play from about here. 
So why is it that you're still Kill the feeling? Reverb. Let's bring this in. So why is it that you're still feeling? It's a little too thin. We'll leave it at 70. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. We'll bring the preamp in. So why is it that you're still feeling? Bypass. So why is it that you're still feeling? Okay, so that's working for me. Now I'm going to bring in the compressor here. So why is it that you're still feeling? So that's just bringing everything up front. Bring down our threshold a bit. So why is it that you're still feeling? So let's have a listen to the cumulative effect of both of those. Let's just go ahead and pin this one over here. We'll bring this one up. So start off in bypass. So why is it that you're still feeling? So why is it that you're still feeling? Awesome. Okay, now let's add the guitar in here. So for the guitar, I'm just using the filter here. And what I want to do is I want to, you know, tame the low end a little bit. And again, I'm just going to dial in some harmonic distortion here. So we'll start off with the guitar bypassed. Push the harmonics a bit, make sure we have our pre in. So, just cleaning it up a little bit. Now, let's listen to both of these together. Looked it up to find the meaning. Somebody that you don't know. So why is it that you're still feeling? Okay, let's just focus on this line for a second. I'm going to take both of these out. So why is it that you're still feeling? I don't care, I don't care. I don't care, I don't care. So why is it that you're still feeling? Definitely much more up front. I don't care, I don't care. I don't care, I don't care. Okay, so for the next example, I wanted to have a look at, again, just using some basic loops here. Let's have a look at some drums where I'm using the compressor and then the pop piano where I'm using the compressor and the filter. So first off, we'll start off with the drums. Bring this in and let's bypass to start. Very basic drums. Again, big volume difference here, but that's what I was going for. Push the harmonics a little bit. So you can hear how much it adds to that, bringing out the harmonics. Okay, now we'll have a listen to the piano loop. So on the piano, we have the compressor and we've also got the filter. So what I think we'll do with this over here, with the piano, is I'm gonna bring in both of them and then we'll bypass them, both of them together. So bring this one in as well. Okay, so we'll start off in bypass from the top. So giving it a bit of lo-fi, giving it lots of grit with the harmonics. Let's bring in our drums. Okay. Now moving on to the last example here, what I wanted to do is I wanted to just, you know, have a listen to how the Caribou mix sounded on something that I'm mixing, but that has not been mastered yet. 
So I've got this track over here and it's just something that's a work in progress that I'm working on right now. We'll go ahead and bring up the insert for this. And this made a huge difference to me. This kind of blew my mind on how it reacted with the two mix. So just a little bit of background on this. The only thing that I've done with this track that was sitting on the master bus is I had a Waves master bus compressor sitting on this. And it was just tickling the needle at about 1 dB max. So let's go ahead and listen to this track from here. Now watch what happens when I engage this. Do a bit of a level match. I'm not really doing that much at all. Tiny bit on the top end. I've added the harmonics. I'm giving a little bit at 60. You can hear it just open right up. Almost feels like it folds down when it's when it's bypassed. Push the harmonics a little further. Again, we'll compensate on our volume. So fantastic sounding equalizer. So anyways, here's a really quick overview of the Prime Studio Caribou Bundle by Prime Studio, developed in association with Acoustica Audio. I hope you guys got something from this, and we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.